and welcome to this Minecraft Hardcore episode. If you're brand new here, hello, my name is Emmy, and I am just getting some fabulous use out of this tree farm that we built in the last episode. Not only does it look beautiful, but it's really helping me keep organized with which wood types I need, and woohoo, I'm, I'm just collecting so much of it. But enough of that, we've got some new adventures that we need to work on for this episode. I've got so many ideas for things that we need to build in this world, but the first priority is we really need to go mining a little bit because we're almost out of iron and, well, it never hurts to get some more diamonds as well. So grab your gear because we need to head down to the mines. Oh, actually, you know what? There's a couple of additions I made to the island that I have not shown you yet. And they are primarily courtesy of Wishbone because since that last episode when a very bad fate befell him, I decided I wanted to make sure to keep him safe. So I ended up putting fencing around the entire island. And then I was also tired of having to swim through the water to get to the portal. So I added a little bridge leading over there I would have videotaped it, but my goodness, I would build it, take it down, build it, take it down. It took me a long time to get a little design that I liked, and for now, I like this one. I'll probably continue to tweak it, but it does the job. I just think it's so much fun, just little bit by little bit, kind of watching things all tie together. Okay, I'm sorry. Enough dilly-dallying. To the mines we go. Oh. Oops, I accidentally turned shaders on, but it's quite lovely, so I think I'll I'll leave them on until we get down to the mines. Oh, Wishbone, are you nervous? Will you laid a little egg? It's okay, I'll be home soon. Oh, and no playing with dynamite. We've talked about this. Also, at some point, I would like to add a little railway leading down to our mining area, because it's a lot of... A lot of stairs going down, but I've been working on this. It's just a very long process. But that is the theme of this world after all, is we are not rushing to get anything done. We work on things as we feel like it, and eventually, little bit by little bit, it all comes together. I will also happily grab every bit of redstone that we run across because I've actually got a couple of redstone projects in mind. I'm not great at redstone, but I know enough to keep things interesting anyway. Ooh, that is some ominous sounding thunder. But I actually really love thunder. I think it's so cozy in real life and even in the game. Ooh, apparently it's some good luck thunder because, whoa, look, look at all these diamonds. Oh, I'm super happy to have some extra diamonds on hand. And if you heard that little noise that sounded like a chicken, that was my cat. Apparently she was really happy at the diamonds as well. And actually, I am going to grab all of the gravel that I find because there is another project that I would like to work on that is going to be requiring copious amounts of gravel. Well, of concrete, but concrete takes gravel. Oh, finally, some iron! <laughs> it's a sad day when you're just as happy to find iron as you are diamonds. But it looks to me like there is a little area to be explored up here. We will just take it nice and easy, and I think probably we should equip our shield so that we are safe from any creepy crawlies that might be hanging around. <gasps> Ooh, and I see skeletons and... I almost feel like there, is it a spawner? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, that is such good news. All right, maybe they will take care of each other. That's what I'm talking about. And then there was one. Oh, you guys, this is such good news. Because now we can get some enchanted bows. And, oh, we have to remember we've got the brightness mod on. So we do need to light this stuff up. Let me... Actually, let me turn it off for a second here. Yeah, see? It's really easy to forget to torch things when you've got that mod. But it makes the videos so much easier to see. Alright, we will definitely come back here and work on making ourselves a skeleton farm. But for now, 
We still need more iron, so we need to continue mining. Well, I feel like I'm finding everything but iron. But someday the gold will come in handy, so we'll grab it. Oh, I both love what I see <laughs> and equally fear what I see. Because I know that I cannot resist the temptation to go exploring in here. But I also recognize that our armor is not the greatest and I've had some bad past experiences in mine shafts. But we must explore, but first I must go empty my pockets because if we do find anything, I've got nowhere to put it. So I'm going to run home and I'll be right back. And now that I'm traveling a little lighter, I can collect some of the goodies in here. I really want this last one. Can I get it without it burning? <laughs> I did! Hmm. Yep, I see some bony white legs up there. We best prepare the shield. Ouch. All right, we just got to get the timing right. Oh, that's... I'm not doing well. Keep the shield up. Come on, get a critical hit. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, we are definitely going to have to uh, be very methodical on how we do this. All right, it looks like there's another bag of bones that wants to come a-callin'. Apparently, he is protecting the family jewels. The diamonds. I'm talking about the diamonds in the floor. Good heavens, and one more. All right, I'll run in for the critical hit. Nope. Let me try again. The critical hit. No. Ah, well, all right, it worked. <laughs> and now for my reward. Ooh, I see a chest over there. Ouch! I mean, come on, fellas. Give us just like... 10 seconds of peace. Just, just 10. Been one right after another. And there it is. Good heavens. All right, we're going to keep torching on the left real quick just so I don't lose my place. And then hopefully we'll be able to find our way out of here. Oh, it's just an entire get together down here. All right, I'll dance with you too, sir. All right, let me just kind of clear this out, then we'll uh, go track down that chest, because I don't know what I think I want, but something, I don't know, there's got to be something good in there. Ooh, wait a second, this is another chest. Ooh, all those things are so creepy. I hate spiders. But at least they're not cave spiders. I guess they've got that going for them. All right, let me just throw a couple of torches down. I don't... Oh, good grief, mister. At least, uh, you know, nothing's been too bad. All right. <laughs> this has got to clear them out. All right, let's go to the original chest first. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yeah, we're up to three. We're up to three chests. If I can just have a moment of peace to actually open one of them. I wonder if I could hit him into the lava. Oh, don't break that. All right, finally. All right, to probably fill that lava in, because knowing me, I'll take one bad step. But let's see. Ooh, a golden apple. All right, I'll take everything. Well, that didn't work. Let's see what we have in here. Fantastic. I've turned the brightness mod off just so we can get... Ooh! <laughs> he, he walks so funny. Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, ouch! All right, but no damage. No, no real damage done. Ooh! All right. Oh my gosh, calm down. Why am I panicking? Ah, oh, I think the creepers kind of freaked me out. Whew. That last step is definitely a doozy. Woo! Ah, not with the place where I want to meet a creeper. Oh, good heavens. Oh, that. oh my gosh, if I hadn't turned around when I did, that could have been really, really bad. 
I wonder if I should light that up. I probably don't need to, but, you know, I'm also kind of curious what's up there. Uh, probably the more accurate term is that I'm nosy. Uh, okay, this might be a mistake. But you never know. Might find some diamonds sitting out in the open over here. Doesn't hurt to take a little peek. Ooh, not, not diamonds, but I'm going to assume it's a skeleton spawner. Yeah, it is. I have no sense of where I am in relation to the house. <laughs> it's only one of the very best music discs in the entire game. That and Pig Step are my ultimate favorites. I'm so excited. You have no idea. As I was starting to say before, is I don't know if this one's any closer to the house than the other one. But it, it's nice to have some choices. Alright, we're going to clear this area up a little bit down here. This mine shaft just seems to go on and on and on. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the sounds of slime. And I've been tracking it. And technically, I don't need to find it because we're near a swamp. But I want to find it because I can hear it. Shh. Listen very, very carefully. We are very, very close. There it is! There, I knew it! I. Ah! Oh no! If it blew up, would it would it make the slime go into little pieces? Ooh! Ooh. I mean, I guess it couldn't have gotten to me, but still, it's very unnerving. Uh, maybe I wouldn't mind if it wasn't hardcore so much, but here I mind. And as I continued to make my way through the mine shaft, the gifts just kept on a coming in the form of welcoming committees, treasures, and other pleasant surprises. Have I crashed the family party? A little ways over, it appears as though I have crashed yet another party. And just like in real life, well, sometimes family turns against family and next thing you know, they start fighting amongst themselves. So, well, you know, sometimes it's just better to stay out of the family squabbles and let them take care of it themselves. And that's pretty much what I tried to do and stepped in only when necessary. I even had the tremendous luck of finding myself an enchanted golden apple. But the inventory was starting to fill up quite a bit, so I had to trade a few things, but I would say it was well worth it. So it was at this time I decided that I had probably better try to find my way out of the mine shaft and back home so that I could unload my pockets yet once again. And of course, this is the time that I started to find all of the iron. But then what happened next, I can't fully explain. I thought I was doing a pretty good job of keeping track of my health, but things seem to take a little bit of a different turn. I think I was blinded with the fight, thinking that it would just take one more swipe and I would be done. But looking back, I realized if I had taken just one bad misstep in all of this, well, <laughs> then I would have been done. At this point, all I wanted to do was leave and go home. But every corridor I would go down and every turn I would take, there they would be. But that was probably because there was another mob spawner just around the corner. Yep, it's a zombie spawner. <laughs> and I think I'm all out of torches. Okay, I have remedied that situation. And we should be fine now. I'm convinced at this point I will never find my way to the original entry point, so we're just digging up and out. Ah, oh, the fresh air smells so good right about now. We have gotten so many goods from down in the mines, and I mean, this is after me already having emptied my pockets once or twice. But my problem is, there was so much iron down there that I didn't have room for, and I know I should probably stop while we're ahead. But I don't have the strength to stop. It's in my nature. We have to go back. 
we can't just leave all that goody good iron down there no matter what happens down there because I know we've been at this for a little while now I promise the rest of this will be extremely quick and to the point so this room in particular is exactly why I wanted to come back down here because I could see all of these iron ores and it was just too good to pass up but this is the narration after the fact and I've got to tell you that in all of the years that I have played this game I have never ever Number one, I've never had this much iron in one mining session. It was just an astronomical amount of iron. Number two, I've never gotten this many treasures from a mine shaft. There was so many ores and so many good things and so many chests. And the number of mob spawners, I don't even, honestly, I don't even know how many we ran, ran across. I, there was even some I don't even think I included in the editing. So this adventure right here, this is everything that I love so much about the game. And this is why I like to take it a little bit slow and not feel so rushed to get the iron farms and, you know, get the villager trades and all those things. I mean, yes, I like to have them at some point, but in due time, because I like to enjoy the journey. And that's exactly what this was. And I'm so glad that you were here to share it with me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mining everything here and then I will meet you back upstairs and we will take a look at what we got on this last round of mining. We have made it safely back at home from our second mining adventure <laughs> and oh my goodness <laughs> I want you guys before I show you I want you to try to visualize how much you think we ended up with after all of that all right I want you to really picture it I did my best to put it all in one place but even so I think it still underrepresents what we actually got so without any further ado here it is oh my gosh look at all that stuff look at all that iron not to mention the diamonds the enchanted golden apple all the railways i mean and of course one of the best records ever i mean honestly this was the haul of a lifetime i feel very confident in saying that we are all set with iron for quite some time well we may not have gotten anything amazing built in this episode but now we're very well set up for the future Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. It would not have been the same without you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.